The owner of the Interchange Coffee Shop in Albert Lee has defied the governor time and time again, and she's doing it again, staging what she calls a peaceful protest tonight. Lisa Hansen has racked up numerous fines already and now faces misdemeanor charges of violating the state's emergency orders. ABC 6 News reporter Devin Martin is live in Albert Lee tonight at that peaceful protest with the latest. Devin. That's right, Ross and Laura. I wanted to take a step back so you guys can kind of see what's going on here at the Nail to the Walls Reopen Minnesota Party. As you guys can see, people are kind of inside there. Um, the windows are completely blacked out, and there are signs that say peaceful protest, peacefully protesting, and things kind of upon those lines. There is somebody that is waiting at the front of the door to be able to also try and let somebody in as well. And I talked to Lisa Hansen, and she says that she is continuing this fight. I don't want anybody's money. Um, I don't want any help. I just want to be able to operate and do what we do really well. And we have a tyrannical governor um, at the state level making uh, unilateral decisions. That's unconstitutional. We need to we need to stop this from happening in our state. And for the people at the event, they support Hanson. One of the guests told me that no matter what happens, they will always support her. He even marched in the reopened Minnesota protest with Hanson earlier this month. Good to be uh, supporting her to have a voice as, as somebody in the virus. Um, you know, I was just thinking on the way over here, it doesn't matter what I believe, it matters what I do. You know, and that's kind of what I think ra rallies everybody around Lisa. She's believing in what she does. And now this event will continue to go on through the night as I've been standing outside. People have been walking out saying they thank Hansen for having this event and people are continuing to walk inside. And now earlier today, I also spoke to Sue Yost, who is the public health director here in Freeborn County. She says that the Minnesota Department of Health is enforcing this. It was pretty vague, but it means that local health officials are not going to be enforcing what Hansen is putting on here for tonight. And that's what we have to tell you right now. I'll be here for a little bit longer and keep you guys up to date at home. Back to you guys in the studio.